So I'm starting a new series. I'm going to call it Circuit Spotlight. Why? Because we are looking a circuit and putting it under the spotlight of all the things it can do, all the applications you can put it in. And we have two examples here today. We have a hipster bridge and a piston door up there. And we are using quad extenders. So if we flip this lever, the slabs will come down, making us a nice bridge to cross. And then the pistons, they will go back into the ceiling. So then we have some headroom and we can just run along these slabs to the chest which has nothing in it because why not so we have been tricked we are disappointed so we're gonna go back and we're gonna retract these slabs back into the ceiling so the slabs get retracted and then they go back into the ceiling like that so let's see the redstone so this is the circuit itself it's really tiny it's six by six by five which makes it only 180 blocks and it was made by me and another person named J08. So I don't know if they have a channel, and if they do, I'll link it. So this is what the circuit looks like. It's made of three parts, the input, the power lines, and the actual logic itself. So if we flick this lever, these blocks are going to come down. Four blocks, so let's look at that. And if that was too fast for you, we're going to play the retraction in slow-mo. So not only can the circuit be used to make pretty cool awesome hipster bridges, we can also use it in various piston doors. So let's go look at something before we look at the piston. So this is a different version of that, except it has this pulse extender. So basically what this pulse extender is going to do, when we push the button, the blocks are going to go back down, they're going to go down, and then they're going to go back up. So we're going to see that happen right now. So there's it going down, and right after that piston does its last retraction, the system fires again, and the blocks get retracted back into the ceiling. So this can be used in various piston doors, like I said, so let's go look at the piston door I made. So this is a pretty big piston door. It's 4 by 28 blocks, and it's all made of glass, so you can't see any visible pistons or redstone or nothing no slime blocks either so if we push this button as you can see the quad extender is going to kick in it's going to extend the blocks down to here pistons are going to go back into the air well, into the ceiling and then it's going to fire the system again which is going to retract these blocks back up into the ceiling again so once it's open we have a four block high entrance and as you can see, there are no visible pistons or redstone under it. So now let's push the button again. Actually, let's push the other button because these two these two buttons are hooked into the door. And it closes in this nice wave pattern thing. And there's still no visible pistons. So if we just take a look out here, we have the quad extenders again, which is the blue circuit. We have the power lines and we have the input. So basically how the input works is these two buttons are hooked up into the same piston. As you can see, this has a repeater. So basically what this does is when you push the button, it will activate this piston and retract this observer, activating this repeater, this pulse extender, and just activate both of the quad extenders and they'll do their thing. And then once you click it again, it's gonna extend, power this redstone, power this piston, and move this redstone block, which will update this observer and make this wave pattern with all these other observers. So this is a pretty cool door and I might be able to do a tutorial if you do want a tutorial for this giant door. So I hope you enjoyed the circuit spotlight video yeah circuit spotlight video and i hope you enjoyed this series and i hope you want it to continue i said i hope a lot so we're just gonna end the video right now bye